this is MSJ Chem. In this video, we're going to look at distinguishing between strong and weak acids and bases. Let's start by looking at electrical conductivity. In the beaker on the left, we have a one mole per decimeter solution of ethanoic acid. In the beaker on the right, we have a one mole per decimeter solution of hydrochloric acid. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid and it partially ionizes in solution. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, which completely ionizes in solution. As you can see, the bulb on the right is brighter than the bulb on the left. This means that hydrochloric acid is a better electrical conductor than ethanoic acid. So let's look at the reason for this. Strong acids and bases have a higher concentration of mobile ions in solution. Strong acids completely ionize in solution, whereas weak acids only partially ionize in solution. Therefore, they have higher electrical conductivity than weak acids and bases of equal concentration. Next, we look at rate of reaction. In the top reaction, magnesium is reacting with a strong acid, which is hydrochloric acid. In the bottom reaction, the magnesium is reacting with ethanoic acid, which is a weak acid. In both reactions, hydrogen gas is produced. However, in the first reaction, with a strong acid, the hydrogen gas will be produced at a faster rate than the second reaction, which is with a weak acid. So once again, we look at the reason for this. Strong acids have a higher rate of reaction with reactive metals, those above copper in the reactivity series, than weak acids of equal concentration because they have a higher concentration of hydrogen ions. So strong acids have a higher rate of reaction than weak acids because they dissociate completely, therefore they have a higher concentration of hydrogen ions than weak acids. And finally, we'll compare the pH of a weak acid and a strong acid. A one mole per decimeter solution of ethanoic acid has a pH of 2.4. A one mole per decimeter solution of hydrochloric acid has a pH of zero. So for equal concentrations, the strong acid has the lower pH. So strong acids have a lower pH than weak acids of equal concentration because they have a higher concentration of hydrogen ions in solution. Let's end with a summary. The strong and weak acids and bases all have a concentration of one mole per decimeter. A strong acid has high electrical conductivity, a high rate of reaction, and a low pH. A weak acid has low electrical conductivity, the rate of reaction will be lower than a strong acid, and the pH will be higher than a strong acid. A strong base has high electrical conductivity, but no reaction with reactive metals, and a high pH. A weak base has low electrical conductivity, no reaction with reactive metals, and a pH that's lower than a strong base. All these observations can be explained by the fact that strong acids and strong bases completely ionize in solution, whereas weak acids and weak bases only partially ionize in solution. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.